We all like to think that if we ever became parents, we'd do a damn good job of it, sometimes at least. But not everyone are meant to have kids, and this has been shown multiple times by unbelievably bad parenting. So join us as we look at 10 of the worst parents in the world. Number 10. Early boob job. Sometimes having a hobby or hobbies means that your children may also be interested in those hobbies. Deciding if and when to include your child can be a tricky task. In Sarah Burge's case, she has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on cosmetic surgery. And her daughter Poppy has also taken an interest in this. For her birthday, Sarah purchased her a $10,000 voucher for a breast augmentation surgery. To top things off, she's also teaching her daughter how to pole dance. Way to set up her career. Good job. Number 9. Returned Adoption Adoption is a beautiful thing. Not everyone can have children, and some choose to take in a child in need rather than to create a new one. Unfortunately, in this case, it went horribly wrong. A 7-year-old boy adopted by a woman from Tennessee was sent on a one-way flight back to Moscow with a note saying that he was violent and had severe psychological problems. The boy, Artyom Savalyev, was returned by his adoptive grandmother. The adoptive mother, Tori Hansen, paid a man $200 to pick the boy up at the airport in Moscow and take him to the Russian Education and Science Ministry. To say the least, this situation was not handled in the best way. Number 8. Starved to death. As if video games didn't have a bad enough reputation already, this South Korean couple decided to plunge it even further. They were arrested after their three-month-old infant girl died of starvation. The child was left uncared for at home while the couple spent their lives at an internet cafe raising a virtual child. They didn't have jobs, and the virtual character was apparently some way for them to escape from reality. But, of course, reality followed them in the harshest of ways. After the death of the baby, the couple fled to the wife's parents' house, but were arrested later. South Korea was shocked, and, of course, the newspapers now have even more ammunition against the internet and video games. Number 7. Florida Fighting At some point in their lives, children will get into a fight. A good parent will know how to handle this situation. Sandra Padilla Miranda did the opposite. She was arrested after she set up a fight between her daughter and another teenage girl to settle a beef. Once her daughter and the opponent arrived, a large crowd gathered as the two girls aged 14 and 17 started going at each other. The fight was recorded and posted to Facebook because of course it was. Fortunately, this shed light on the terrible parenting of the mother who kept shouting hit harder in Spanish and also told her daughter to bite her opponent. Miranda was charged with child abuse and and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Both girls were suspended from school. Number 6. Botox Mother Running this channel is great fun, and I learn many things. Sometimes, though, I am ashamed of humanity, and this is one of those moments. 34-year-old Kerry Campbell says she injects her 8-year-old daughter with Botox to get rid of her wrinkles. She does this to keep her daughter Brittany competitive in the world of child beauty pageants. Apparently, Brittany is used to the painful injections, although she did admit that she used to cry when being given the bacterial botulinum toxin shots. Number 5. Pimp Parents A couple in Georgia pleaded guilty to making their underage daughter have sex with a man so they didn't have to make monthly payments on their second-hand minivan. Sandra Davis pleaded guilty to child molestation and faces eight years in prison. Davis's husband and the disgusting piece of used car salesmen were both sentenced to 10 years in prison and 10 years probation, also for the child molestation. The deal these lowlifes made was so they could avoid paying $281 monthly on their 1998 Dodge Caravan they had bought. Number 4. Drunk Dad Driving Son Billy Joe Madden decided it was a good idea for his 8-year-old son to drive their car on the interstate so he could take a nap, all the while his 4-year-old was sat in the back seat with no seatbelt. The two kids were placed in the custody of Child Protective Services, according to the Louisiana State Police. Madden has been charged with two counts of child desertion, two counts of no child restraint, and parent allowing a minor to drive, among other charges. Number 3. Medieval Punishment Telling your disobedient child to go to their room is a classic punishment, but apparently too boring for this father in Seattle. Frey Mancier's stepdaughter went to a party without his permission. As punishment, he made her daughter put on medieval armor, gave her a wooden sword, and made her fight him in some strange Game of Thrones duel. They went at it for two hours until his daughter collapsed from exhaustion. Police also said that he had punched and beat her with a tree branch prior to the fight itself. 
Number 2. Forgotten the kid. A couple had forgotten their 8 month old baby boy in a parking lot and went home separately. Upon arriving home, the mother realized that neither her nor the father had him. The baby, Ezra Isaiah Reyes, was left in a stroller, not even strapped in. He was found by a street vendor and luckily so. The child was a bit dehydrated but had no serious issues. Don't forget your kids guys, it could go much, much worse than this. Number 1. Embarrassing Sign. Rhonda Holder never graduated high school, nor did her husband. They wanted a better education for her son, but they were very disappointed to find out that their son had a very poor performance in school with a grade point average of 1.22. In a bid to make her 15 year old son turn things around, she resorted to shaming his academic performance by making a sign detailing his terrible grades and forcing him to walk up and down the busy street corner for hours on end. That seems reasonable compared to some others on this list, but most likely this tactic will push their son even further from any academic achievements. 